Ladies and gentlemen, old guy back again today with <laughs> the Triumph Scrambler 1200 XE. This is a 2023 huge rear Owens shocks on the back of this bike. It's a Scrambler. This is the Chrome edition, obviously, because you can see me walking through the Chrome. <laughs> this bike is... You got your skid plate and everything else, fully adjustable suspension, front and rear, and a, yeah, super tall seat. <laughs> oh my goodness. Nice rubber inserts on the foot pegs, though. That's nice to have. This bike is 89 horsepower, 81 foot pounds of torque, and weighs eh, roughly 500 pounds wet. All right, it's a 1200cc engine, it's a twin, got that big high slung exhaust on it, and with the fully adjustable suspension, this is the Scrambler, so it's designed to handle pretty much whatever you want to throw at it, those big bumps, it just kind of walks over that. And it's got plenty of power. 89 horsepower, 81 foot-pounds of torque. Did not look and see if this has a quick shifter. It does not. Oh, poor me, I might have to use my clutch hand. It does have adjustable brake levers, adjustable clutch, which is nice. But I can feel that torque kick in right away this is a twin so it is vibrational um, I can feel it in the seat I can feel it in the, in the pegs a little bit not so much here in the hands but when you get on it a little bit yeah you can feel it no wind protection on this bike not really necessary because there's a scrambler, you're supposed to be doing a little bit more off-road. Brakes are really solid, really solid. It's got a nice sound to it. I mean, the exhaust is right near me, so I can really hear it. This is very comfortable. It is a very comfortable bike. No doubt about that. I am, um, this chrome look to it is a personal preference for people. Personally, I'm not a fan of the chrome, but somebody might. And it's kudos to Triumph for building something that isn't just your, okay, here you go, you have an color. You know, here's black, deal with it. Oh, here's some red. Now, Triumph, you got a little green in here. You got some, you know, you got the chrome look to it. That's really nice. It's really good looking. You know, I can't, I can't stress enough how much I do like what Triumph is doing with their bikes. It's a very stable bike. Another, again, very stable. It's not setting any speed records. And for 500 pounds, I mean, they list it as 459 wet or no dry. So, yeah, add about 40 pounds, give or take. So, let's just say 500 pounds and call it a day. I mean, it's not light by any means, but it holds its weight very, very well. The clutch pull is super light on this bike, and the brakes are really good, too. Not gonna lie, I keep going for a quick shifter because just about everything I've ridden has had one. And this one does not. Which is, again, like I said, it's fine. Don't need it. I mean, pulling the clutch and shifting up is, and or down is not that complicated.
is it's got good power it rides really nice it's very smooth um, I have no idea how much this costs uh, honestly apologies for that I completely forgot <laughs> I completely forgot the cost on this bike you'll see it in the top um, Sometimes I make myself laugh, but you got to make yourself laugh in this world. You know, you got to enjoy it. You know, honestly, right now I get to ride a bunch of different motorcycles and talk about it. And I wish this was my full-time job, but it's not. But it's a fun little hobby for me, and I love riding bikes and I love talking to other bikers. Hearing stories about their rides and what they ride, what they have had, and what they, you know, there's always the bike you wish you'd never gotten rid of, and that kind of thing. I love that. You know, it's it's ultimately motorcycling and motorcyclists are a community. You know, it's a, it's got some grunt again it's not lighting your hair on fire but that torque figure does kind of give you that initial off the off the jump off the twist there's an initial oomph to it and it makes it for a very nice rider position or uh, rider experience you know it's Brumbo brakes, I mean, steel braided, I mean, this is not a cheap down on bike at all. This is a really nice bike. Standing position. Oh, this, now this, this standing position is perfect. This has got a great standing position. You know, I'm just up here and just kind of, you know, on the balls of my feet and I shift down to my actual just sitting on the oh yeah this is great that's a great riding position to stand up and just kind of go down the road or you're hitting some fire roads whatever this is a great position for this absolutely great i don't like it but i mean even even like right now right it's just a, this is just a comfortable cruise i mean you could you could do anything you want on this bike I mean, you could, you could take it to a track. I mean, it's not going to go super, super fast, but you could. It's very comfortable. Very comfortable. Very comfortable. It's a really good platform. It's a really good bike. decent power it's it's this is not a bad motorcycle when it comes to speed but when you're buying this bike this that's not your main concern you're not you don't care about the speed of this bike that's that's it, it's got enough power to do anything you need it to do I mean but you're not exactly buying this bike and saying oh well it's got to be as fast as you know a big sports touring bike doing it with 140 horsepower I mean, this is 89 horsepower, and it's designed to go over shit like this. Just like that. Let's hit this bump. Yeah, so it's designed to go over shit like that. And it's fine. It, <laughs> it walked over that without a problem. I mean, it didn't even phase it, really. It didn't even phase it. It's very tall. <laughs> it is very tall. There you go.
Street Scrambler with a Scrambler 1200 XC. It's a good bike, really good. This chrome tank. Nice sound to it. Really nice sound to it. There you are, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful bike. Fun to ride. My knees just popped when I leaned down here. You didn't see me in the tank. Hi, everybody. It's a good platform. It really is. Wouldn't begrudge anybody for buying this one either. Of course, I don't. I don't judge anybody for buying any bike. But if I were to buy this bike, it would not be chrome. <laughs> That's the only difference. Anyways, everybody, stay safe. Big thanks to Triumph out there, Mark Shaw. Stay safe as always. Enjoy the ride. Tell me back.